boys and girls, it's Mrs. Apella. I'm here in my family room, and I thought that today I would read you Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase, since today's St. Patrick's Day, and I know how much you love Pete the Cat. So here we go. Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase. It's got some stickers in here for us. I'll save them for you. Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now everyone in class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. St. Patrick's Day comes, and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. He's got a box with bait. The bait is candy. He's got some rope and he's got a net. Okay. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, Squirrel says. I need good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover the leprechaun next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Do you think he gets him? But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily, he asks. Once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some good luck would be neat. And then he happened upon a smart leprechaun who he'll find quite tricky to beat. He got away. Clover disappears in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. That afternoon, Gus visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck for my band recital. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. They gave us some cards that we can put in our writing center for when we get back. Pete plans to lure Clover out with his music. He plays a jaunty song on his guitar, and before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round and round, Clover goes faster and faster. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his match. A crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win. He better give in or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie, Pete's lucky leprechaun, catchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my tennis match. Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. I wonder what he's going to do next. Pete sets a trap for Clover, and before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap, sniffs the air. Hmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering under the box. Pete waits very quietly. Crash! Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it is empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried a many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it dandy? I even got candy, while Pete ends up with squat. Mm. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Pete finally catches Clover! What do you want with me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some good luck, Pete says. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as you can be. Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat doesn't need a lucky leprechaun. So he lets Clover go. Would you do that, boys and girls? 
Pete decides he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. So Pete helps Squirrel study for his test, and Squirrel aces it. Pete helps Gus rehearse for the recital. Gus rocks it. Pete helps Callie practice for her match. Callie wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more poem for you. While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. The luck that you make beats the luck that you take. And any old day of the week, happy St. Patrick's Day. Do you think Pete was a good friend? I do too. Did you like the book? Pete the Cat and the Great Leprechaun Chase? Maybe we can read it again when we get back to school. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back on tomorrow to give you a morning greeting and read you a book tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. Bye.